Italian's gonna light his ass up. I'm about to ask you to walk up to a man, look him dead in the eye, and put him on his back for good. But he won't see that coming from you. And you're the only one who can do this. Live by the street, die by the street, nigga. And it's gotta be you who pulls the trigger. But you gotta make the man's move. It's all on you. Everything. Everyone. You just gotta step into it. <gasps> Raquel showed Kanan how to aim at bottles and pull the trigger, but she forgot to let him know that the feeling is different when you are standing eye to eye with a man. What's up, power fans? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with the second version of my first video. In this video, I'll explain how Raquel planned everything between Kanan and Detective Howard, and also what to expect in the season finale. Since Kanan was unable to finish Detective Howard, the guilt and fear is all he has left. The framing of Unique will make Raquel keep her son out of town for a minute. This is where Scrappy comes back as the one who really teach Kanan the game. Now, this was how I think Raquel planned everything. If we all remember how this lady linked Raquel to her cousin and Raquel returned the favor by saving her from her abusive husband, Raquel came back to watch how she acted by crying when the police came over to inspect the house. Now, from all indications, Raquel used this lady in her plan to kill Detective Howard and frame Unique for it. The reason she asked Kaden to wear Unique's jacket is that she wanted it to look like Unique did it. So even if there are any eyewitnesses, they will automatically think it was Unique. Now, what if there were no eyewitnesses? This is where the shop lady comes in. She'll be right there at the spot and be the eyewitness to the crime. She'll be the one to tell the police what she saw by describing Unique's jacket with his name on it. So in other words, this lady is Raquel's whistleblower to the crime. Which means again, she has helped Raquel. Why will the police believe this? Because it is true that Unique has a jacket with his name on it so they will go after him. And I'm sure this is when Unique will realize his jacket was stolen. But that will not work in his favor because the police will now assume that he committed the crime and got rid of the jacket because knowing who unique is it will be difficult for someone to steal his jacket just like that and if i am raquel i'll partially bend that jacket somewhere for further evidence that unique truly committed the crime and because he was seen he hurriedly left out of fear without making sure that the jacket was completely bent now how did kanan leave the scene that is where scrappy comes in so scrappy picks kanan up and send him into hiding. And if there is a safer place to hide Kanan, that will be his grandmother's place. No doubt that we have seen them establish his grandmother in episode 9. And this is where I think Kanan will be spending more time with Scrappy, hence Scrappy turned Kanan's teacher. So like I said early on, Unique is going to be arrested because of the jacket. But as to if he can defend himself and prove his innocence or not, unless Detective Howard wakes up. It might be possible that if Howard survives, he will not talk or give Kanan up just like that. He is a smart man and he would like to handle this on his own by finding out what Raquel told Kanan before he agreed to pull up on him. This happened to be the case. This will further keep Unique inside. The second option is the detective might survive and lose his memory of what actually happened that night unless he starts seeing things that could remind him of that day. If this happens to be the case, then again, it won't go in favor of Unique because he will have to remain inside until proven innocent. And we all know what happens when someone kills or shoots a cop. So when any of this happens and Unique stays inside, Raquel definitely wins. I'm winning. She will now dominate the game and have Unique's corners. Now, this is one interesting point. What can Raquel do to further make Unique stay in jail with this particular accusation? The only way Raquel can survive this is by making sure Detective Howard doesn't leave to talk. So I won't be surprised in this scene, it looks as though Marvin is the finisher. It looks as if he was looking for something, probably Detective Howard's word or where he has been kept. So in summary, this is the reason why Raquel sent his son after the cop one to make it look like it was unique. That was the reason she made him wear the dress and two, she probably planted an eyewitness there who will make the call to the police as soon as Kenan shoots Detective Howard. And this is what probably is going to pan out in the grand finale. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to my channel if you are new, share, like, leave your comments and let's have this conversation going and let's see what's going to happen in the grand finale of 
Power Book 3 Raising Canaan. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Italian's gonna light his ass up. I'm about to ask you to walk up to a man, look him dead in the eye, and put him on his back for good. But he won't see that coming from you. And you're the only one who can do this. Live by the street, die by the street, nigga. And it's gotta be you who pulls the trigger. But you gotta make the man's move. It's all on you. Everything. Everyone. Just gotta step into it. <gasps>